What's going on guys? So today I am backpacking out. Um, base camp is Cliff Lake and then this is in the Dinky Wilderness and today is going to be a day hike to Little Lake and I'm going to try to get a picture there. It's going to be like high noon by the time I get there so I'm most likely going to be using my 10 stop ND filter but yeah that's what this video is all about is the trip to Little Lake and hopefully getting a good shot. You ready to go, yeah? You ready to go? Well, let's go. Come on. Up one hill, down the other side, gonna drop into Rock Lake, and then drop into Little. Just past Rock, now off to Little Lake. All downhill, which means all uphill coming back. Made it to Little Lake. That is Dogtooth Peak, and it is gorgeous. All right, so the hike to get here was you ended up heading up out of Cliff Lake, and then you dropped down into Rock Lake, and then you dropped down again into Little. So it's about two and a quarter miles from Cliff. Cliff is about five miles from the trailhead. So if you wanted to spend the night here, it would be about seven and a quarter mile. It's a little long. And to get out of here, it would be steep. A steep hill with a full pack. So it'd be a little bit tiring, but um, it's gorgeous. And now my plan is to walk around the lake, look for a good composition, and um, yeah, it's really bright. It's about 12 o'clock in the afternoon with granite and a lake, so it's going to be a little difficult. Like I was saying earlier, I think I'm going to try my 10-stop ND filter and my polarizer as well, so I'm going to stack filters. Here's my setup. Now I'll walk you through my composition, at least what my thoughts are. There's dog tooth pink. And let's check my settings. So right now I'm at six seconds for my shutter F8 and ISO 100. And check this out. I have a polarizer filter on and my 10 stop ND filter. So that way I can get the clouds to pop really well, the blue sky to come out, the shine to come off of the rocks with the polarizer, and the ND filter is going to allow me to have that 6 second shutter speed because it's like 12 o'clock in the afternoon. You wouldn't be able to do that without an ND filter. So I also really want to talk about tripod in the water, so what I do is I try to set it up on rocks, give it, make it really stable, and then also um, helps your legs not get grimy from all the dirt in the water. So if you can, that's something that's always good to do. So let's talk composition really quickly. So what I have is I have a log in my foreground, and then that log is a leading line right to Dogtooth Peak. So I'm hopeful that that's going to be a really good composition. I like it. It looks really good, but we'll see how it turns out. Um, I have my polarizer on to bring down the glare on the rocks, to bring out the blue, and then to also bring out the stuff in the water. So there's some rocks, some logs. I really want that to come out. So then that way that polarizer is going to do that. So that's kind of my composition and my thoughts for this photo. So here's my setup. That log 
is a leading line straight up to the peak. I also want to show you guys the picture without the ND filter on it. So I took the ND filter off, it's a 10 stop ND filter, took that off, took the same shot, and this is what that one looks like. So it's really just your preference and whatever you want your shot to look like, but I wanted to be able to show you guys the two side by side so you can compare them and see really what an ND filter does. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big ol' thumbs up. It really does support my channel. Um, if you wanna see more tips, tricks, how-tos, or behind the scenes and how I got the shot, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Um, and yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing the uh, use of the ND filter compared to not using it and just enjoyed this gorgeous view. <laughs> and um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this one and I'll see you in my next video. Backpacking out in the dinky wilderness and it's windy and that's not going to work for a video. All right, so made it to, made it, all right. There's flies, like big biting flies. Like 12 in the afternoon and really bright, so. I think that uh, it's chasing the flies.